Hey everybody, welcome back to Jack Pine Savage Outdoors. Normally we try to plan an annual ice fishing trip with friends and family. We were fortunate enough this year that a group of friends was heading out to a Splake Trout Lake in northern Michigan at a local resort. Um, and I had never caught a splake before, um, certainly through the ice. Um, we went out there with our jaw jackers, which always seemed to work really great for trout. We were fishing at about 22 feet, about five, six, seven feet off the bottom. Um, and, uh, seemed to be doing the trick early on. Um, not a lot of people were catching fish, but we seemed to get on them pretty early, um, which is always a good sign. So yeah, check it out. All right, so this jaw jacker over here has been going off left and right. So far today, we've got three or four splake out of this hole and lost a couple more. The bite is definitely turning on though. So I'm running a small spawny sack, smallest I can, a size 8 hook, a couple split shot, I'm like a 3 foot leader on my jaw jacker. I got my ice stops on there of course. Yeah the cameras are all cold, that's what the problem is. I'm juice boxing this chesty, so I got it going. There we go. Yep. There we go. Uh, so we put all of our gear in tow um, and kind of headed out to the middle of the lake to a saddle into the lake. Um, and that saddle kind of broke off from 10 feet of water down to uh, 40 feet of water. I really got it loaded up good today. You're in 20.6 feet of water, and you can see I'm about two-thirds of the way to the bottom. Let's go see how Zeb's doing over here. I'm going to have to go back to my truck to get mesh. Right. So we got to protect the precious. Protect the precious. At Thank all costs. You. Jacker! He's on! Fish on! They got half of them, bud. Micro chutes. Oh, that's a nice fish. Damn, I'm on my leader. Nice. I think we should release this one. I'm gonna yeah. limit it out, dude. Here. I think you disqualified. I just gave him that. I know. Too. I just threw him in my pocket and he screamed. <laughs> this is a small one. Wow, dude, yeah, trout hook. Fiend it, dude. Let's talk about a hook set. That's to a jaw, jaw jacker. jacked. <laughs> that is the definition of jaw jacked, man. Wow. How you doing, Mr. Trout? It's a nice fish, though. It is a beautiful fish. That's a splake identification lesson. See how their backs are really wormy? It's not spots, they're like little wormy lines. And then see, they got spots on their side like a brookie, but they don't have the color in the halos of a brookie. Their fins look like a brookie, but they're paler. And their tail isn't boxy like a brookie, it's forked like a lake trout. And that's how you can tell what a splake is. Let's get this guy back. See you, little guy. Let him swim right down. Happy, healthy little fish. Let's catch another one. All right, so we just got that nice little splake. I'm gonna set our jaw jacker back up again. Fish under the hole, of course. At this point, I'm almost wondering if I'd be better off just jigging in this hole, saving some spawnies. So, nice. Here we go again. Get him up the hole. There he is. Splake. Splake, splake, splake. Yeah, I'm almost wondering if I could just jig him in this hole. Yeah, right. Put the jacker away for a bit. That one might still be refishable. That's kind of small too, isn't it? Yeah. Let's put him back too. 
I've already got what two, and you've got one. Yeah, we can have out. we can have some standards if you want. Yeah. Well, I just don't want to fish ourselves out. Well, yeah, I'd like to get one over fifteen too. Oh yeah, big yeah, one. Yeah, we keep cool. ones like that again. Look they are pretty. How iridescent! It's like a midget lake trout. Yeah, right. Got a jacker up over here. No. Nope. This one's almost frozen in. Mine was when I caught that last one. Right. So. Spawny's gone. I'm just going to do the uh, floaty spawnies. Because I'm running out of the no floaty spawnies. And we still got two more days of fishing here. I've got one bait puck full of loose eggs with me. I tie really delicate small ones. I can maybe get 20 more baits. And after that, I'm in trouble. Let's see what happens with this one. This one's only gone off once today and the spawn sack was gone. So I believe it got bit. But uh, let's see what happens. Oh, it looks nice. Dude, what is going on with this reel? Dude. <laughs> He's bleeding like a stuck pig. Just puked up a perch, too. Yeah, it's like he gilt. He's like gill plated. Yeah, just rip that gill right out. Look how much he bled out, Jesus, dude. Poor gay. He bled the moment he came on the ice. He was in his gill raker. Jacker. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Oh wow! <laughs> Biggest flake yet. Probably. Rossi, man. Right? Got one over here on the jaw jacker. Fish. <sighs> nice. Oh, he choked it too. break it off and throw him back. That hook will rust out. That'll be fine. I had to cut that one off. It was only maybe 10 inches and the hook was gone. It'll rust out, maybe. It's better than ripping it out of its gullet. It's such a weird thing. Right? What do you do in that situation? You know what? It was way too deep. I would have killed it if I even tried to get it out. You think so? Yeah. It's like they don't like. oh. Speak of the devil, eh? There's a fish there. Is there? I think I'm gonna go to a size six hook. Absolutely love my Raven Specialist hooks, as you guys can see. So that last fish was on a size eight Gamagatsu octopus hook and it swallowed the hook so deep that I had to cut the line to keep from killing the fish. Hopefully that hook will rust out and the fish will survive. It has much better odds of surviving with me cutting the line than for me trying to rip that hook out of its throat. So we're just gonna do our little clinch knot here. About seven wraps. There we go. I was icing back up already. It is cold out here, folks. It was four degrees this morning. I'm not sure what it is right now. It is cold out here. I don't see that if you have slush in your hole. As soon as you put that uh, ice stop in, man, your line just starts dropping way more. I kind of like it when it slushes up. Right? When it holds the bottom of things for me. All right, something interesting. I want to compare. 
so we caught one of these split right and uh they ended up puking up a little baby perch minnow. Check this out, guys. Super cool. So when we caught this fish, let's see if we can focus on that. It threw up that little baby perch minnow. See that? So I put on this perch Rapala jigging wrap. Only I take the small size 14 treble off the bottom and replaced it with a size 8 raven specimen wide gape hook hook excuse me and uh seems to be doing the trick there they are so, i'm gonna see if i can just jig them with the flasher dude this is gonna go off again yeah i hope so is there a fish down there i'm gonna try jigging I just threw that smash from on there and that happened, right? Right? Fishing on 20 feet either side of it and it's not producing. Right. Fish! Really? Yep. Easy, dude. Oh, it came off. Dipping that. See him? You, you want that in there still? Yeah. Just be on standby. There he goes. It's the little pound. I got a lake trout him. You need him to chase up. I like the dropping jig. Let it float down a little. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> that was a steelhead hook set. There we go. There we go. Here goes Zeb. I'm in the fucking Vexilar. That's a nice one, dude. Perch rip and wrap. They're slimy like lake trout. There's a trout hook too, see? Oh, you just replaced it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, that might go 14. Think he goes 14? Let's bump him. Let's bump him. Oh, 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 oh. They're lake trout sliding in there. Good Lord. Lord of mercy. 13. That's the biggest one we caught. That's the biggest one yet. Nice one, dude. That's a really pretty fish. It's a beautiful fish. See the fork tail? Is that yeah, and like boxy? the white on his fins and everything too. Right. That's so cool. Like a brook trout? Right. Yeah. Like his, yeah, that's really cool. That was the, the perch. The are traditionally right? stocked um, in high numbers in lakes for <laughs> recreational reasons. Um, the splake is a a uh, crossbreed right between the uh, female that, brook trout yeah, and a yeah. male lake trout. They they don't reproduce sure natively, that. and that's the reason why they like to stock them into lakes is because they can control their population. They can't breed out of control and choke out a lake. Um, it's a beautiful fish that has all the characteristics of brook trout on its fins, and it kind of looks like a speckled trout on its sides, uh, and a lake trout on the top. Um, you hear me jokingly call them midget lake trout, because that's kind of what they look like to me. See what happens here. So we really got dialed into these splake um, jaw jackers using spawn sacks. Uh, the smaller the spawn sack, the better it seemed to work. So we're setting up basically all of our gear with that setup. Turns out it's a 39 inch uh, frostbite dipstick. It's a really noodly rod, um, but has enough backbone to kind of set the hook, but feel those really light splake bites. We were both using 10 pound braid um, to six pound red label Seaguar floral leaders, size six hooks, micro swivels. Uh, he uses a lot of braid and stuff. I use a lot of blood run stuff, but it's all
think they turned off some. Nice little bite window there for a minute. I'm gonna go dig in the shack. Jacker. Here we go. We got another jacker up. Is there a fish on it? Let's see. Here we go. Oh, ah, it came off. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. There was a fish on. All right, guys. Got that one set again. Looks like Zeb's got something going on over here. Zeb's got one. Here we go. Let's see if we can see him coming up the hole. Okay, we're on leader. Careful on the ice. Careful on the ice. Don't get that feet out. Careful on the ice. Careful on the ice. Wait, wait for it. He's pissed. Why do you have this? Get your head up the hole. And there you go. Nice, dude. Nice, Splaker. Oh, man. He's all right. You can get that. Oh, yeah. I think we got this one. Yeah. I went up to a size six hook to keep him from swallowing it so bad. Because they're voracious, dude. Oh, fuck. Sorry, bud. He's all right. Not in his gills or nothing. Let me see. Splake Lively. Yeah, there you go, show off that shine. Nice, dude. Is that the fish? You're vibing him? And then look at him go, no, he's ready. Nice job, dude. Bump it. Boop. Nice. Hey, <laughs> it's another splake. Look right at him, too, just pinned. He's been stuck him right in the maxillary, bud. That's a keeper, that's a nice one. Put him in the pile. Put him in the pile. <clears throat> so I can get it in the glow cup. Bonus points if you can jig him in the glow cup. You need the stuff? You got that juice, juice, juice. Jaca juice? Juice. Juicy, juicy Jaca. See if maybe a rattle bait will bring some fresh fish in. <laughs> I just can't take it anymore. It's too much. Is there a fish? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give it the beat. Oh, there he is, baby. Come on. Come on up out of here. There's the leader. Where is he? Yep. Oh. Oh, shit. Off at the hole. That's a nice one. Might be the nicest one. I think that's the nicest one yet. Yeah. Let's go check him out. You want to just limb it out and go get warm in the cabin and charge batteries? Try again tomorrow? Yeah. That is the nicest one of the day, I bet. Look at him. Definitely the longest. He's slink. No, no, no. No? 13. 13? That's the cookie cutter, man. Right. It's in the slot. Right. Squirt. Fuck your gills. Fuck your gills. Oh, he didn't like the bap, did he? He did not like the bap. Five, six, seven, eight. We can keep two more. There's another splake. Nice cookie cutter. 13 inch trout. Slake seems to be crawling with them. Grab your jackers up. Oh, okay. Let this jacker reset. I haven't been many days in my life where I've been able to say that I am exhausted from catching so many fish in a day. I am definitely thankful for this day. It's been a blast. It's been an absolute riot. Just beating these splake up today. Just non-stop stalker trout action.
You need stuff? I know, dude. I got three spawnies and a quarter of a bottle of Jack <laughs> left. I think we might have to just call it in that regard, though. Figure out how to jig tomorrow. Save our stock. See what we can do to jig them, right? Yeah. Um, we were having such good luck that we were actually kind of running out of spawn sacks. Um, so we really kind of needed to um, assess maybe different ways to fish. So we started putting minnows on and putting waxies on and it worked, but just not really as good as spawn sacks. So we were just making sure to share this uh, information with our group so we could all get on fish um, and stay dialed in. I'm freaking tired from running after all these damn jaw jackers today. <laughs> Oh wow, dude. Wow, that's a nice fish. That is a really nice spike, man. 15 and a quarter. Nice fish, dude. That's a really nice fish, That's man. the best one I've seen So you're only day. allowed to keep two of these this size out of the lake because it's cool. so, so big. Perfect. Yeah. That's a doozy, man. 15 and a quarter. That's the biggest one by a long shot yeah, so far today. Are you guys put... looking through the hole? Just every once in a while I look down there. Mm -hmm. When they come in, it's like they they come in real quick and they move around. Oh, they, yeah. It's usually like they look at your bait and they either hit it or they don't. Yep. If they That's hit trout. It, That's they... trout 100%. So do you grill these? Oh, yeah. And then just put like some garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper, and just fry them in a pan with butter, dude. And they'll be... I kind of want to smoke one. You want to smoke one? Just to see. It would take like 14 What's minutes the limit? to smoke one. What's the limit? Five a piece. Oh, so you guys are almost done. Yeah, we can each have one more fish. And then we're done for the day. The guys in the big shanty, they, they had never fished until a couple years ago with me. Nice. So, so like they're learning and they, they have no idea there's regulations. They have no yeah, idea. It's, they, especially when there's this specific. Right, right. What do we have A through E lakes and this is a B lake? A B lake, yeah. Yeah, trout but rules then they, in Michigan even with this B lake, general. there's gap size, mm -hmm. hook gap restrictions too. And yeah. we have that in the Maumee River with right. walleye. Sure. Yeah. So. No, it can get really confusing. That's a nice one, dude. Maybe clear that hole a bit. Yeah, it's froze hard. Yeah, it is. It's sharp. Be careful. You see him? Oh, there he is. There he is. Hold on. We'll lift him up. He was rowdy, though. That rod was loaded. Is keeper or no? No, I don't think, I don't so. think so. You need players? You got it. So how deep are you fishing that? The hole's 22 foot deep. We're fishing them about six feet off the bottom. Would you say, Zed? I had a job so we really got our splake program dialed in pretty early on the first day using the spawn sacks. Um, sizing up hooks definitely helped with hook swallows up to a size 6 hook. And increasing our leader length size definitely helped with not losing fish at the ends. We decided to head in for dinner after we limited out, charge up our batteries, um, tie up some new spawn sack, and get ready for the next day. Um, we were really fortunate today and we were hoping to have the same fortune tomorrow. We really appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, if you could like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you can get updates of our content in the future. Leave a comment below about what you want to see and hear. Um, we really appreciate it. And uh, again, check out part two coming out with this series coming out a little bit later where we go over uh, day two um, and have even better success with Split. And again, uh, thanks for stopping by Jack Pine Savage Outdoors.